Hello, this is Jane and today's video is for Functional Skills English and we're going to be looking at identifying tone so you can use this to revise your reading and your writing so if you look at the picture and when we see people face to face we can identify whether they look angry or not what are you doing we can also tell from the way they speak and we say that's the tone of voice so we're now going to look at how that works for tone when you're looking at writing so for tone i want you to think attitude when you're looking at a piece of reading in functional skills, I want you to think, what is the writer's attitude towards the subject, the thing he's writing about? And when you write a piece of work, I want you to think about, what's my attitude towards what I'm writing about? So for your revision today, tone. The objective tone. No feelings either way, neutral, unbiased, avoids pronouns, and we often consider this to be the formal tone when you are objective. The subjective tone, personal, biased, emotional, and usually informal. So make sure you know the difference between objective and subjective tones. What about other types of tone? So we have one here, optimistic, when we're looking at the picture. Even though my house is not a mansion, it is filled with love and my children will all have a good future. That's an optimistic tone because it's hopeful and confident about the future sentimental my house is run down but it has a special place in my heart it's a sentimental tone the reference to my heart suggests emotion tolerant this isn't the best house in the world but it's not that bad so the words not that bad shows the writer accepts this situation whilst recognising it could be better, so it's a tolerant tone. Bitter. I am fed up of living in this miserable dump. The writer resents living in this house by using the phrase fed up. Objective. Do you remember we looked at the objective tone at the beginning of this video. This is the house I live in. It provides shelter. Yes, the writer just states facts. There are no feelings expressed at all. So when you're looking at tone, I want you to think about the type of tone that you are using to get across a message to your reader. A compassionate tone means that you will be using something that suggests sympathy to either a character or a situation. A distressed tone means that you will able, be able to see in that piece of writing that there is some upset. A harsh tone. The writing will, won't show any feeling, it will be really unfeeling there. A loving tone. This will be shown as affectionate. An uneasy tone. So when you're looking at the writing, you will notice some lack of security, either within a character themselves or from the writer's perspective. Tragic. If it's a tragic tone, then something disastrous will be happening. A vindictive tone, yes, if it is a vindictive tone, you will be looking at something spiteful happening. So when you think about tone, I want you to think about three important things. So three important things to look at before deciding on the tone. So first of all, form. Is the text 
an email, a letter, a book, a story or something else. And secondly, the audience. Who are you writing for? A friend, the council, a school, family or somebody else. And finally, your purpose. Why are you writing it? To describe, to inform, to entertain, to explain or to persuade. Remember, your tone should match your intention. What else do you have to remember? Three things. Yes, remember audience, who the piece of writing is written for. The text, the format, the form, what text features you need for different pieces of writing. Make sure you revise that. And purpose. What is the purpose of the piece of writing? So practice, practice, practice means that you need to practice looking at a piece of writing, a piece of reading, who is the audience, what is the text and what is the purpose and then can you actually identify what the tone is and use some of the other videos on this site to help you review and revise all your ideas for functional skills. Bye now.